money today from our frames. We've got some frames here of some nice honey. We just harvested from some of our hives. We're, we're making elderberry syrup for this winter. For our, our I, I, in case none of you have heard, elderberry syrup's all the rage right now. It's elderberry syrup with raw local honey, which this is our raw local honey. We right from our place, our bees. So doesn't get any more local than that. Um, but in order to make our syrup, we made the syrup last year, and we'll talk about that in another video. Works really well. So we're making more this year, but the first thing we need to do is extract some honey so we have our local raw honey to put into our syrup. So we're going to take this out. We've got our frames here. We've got a couple tools. Well, we've got our extractor. Uh, this, this frame, this extractor, will do deep or medium frames or small. It's got a little gearbox up here. So when you start spinning it, it's a reduction gearbox. It's going to keep spinning once you let go. So, and then all the honey flies out of the frame and goes to the sides and runs to the bottom. And then we've got a spout here that we're going to let the honey out. And we're going to lift that when it's time and we're going to let our honey flow out. We've got a bucket here, and we've got a honey strainer. So this thing, whoa, this thing will open up. It'll go up to a five-gallon bucket, and it slides in and out, but it fits perfectly on this little two-gallon bucket because I don't think we're going to need more than that today. That's a, called a double strainer. You've got actually two of these you put in there. This is going to filter out any little pieces of wax or anything. And then when we're done, we're going to take the caps. We're going to let them sit there probably overnight and let anything else drip in. So we're going to set this under our extractor. We're going to set that right there. Now in our frames, we've got a regular knife. Serrated knife on both edges for cutting your caps off. We've also, we've got a pick because sometimes we got frames, you get frames and the, the caps aren't out far enough for the knife to hit. So, you know, sometimes the bees make these unevenly. We can cover that another time. We found out the hard way why that can happen. So, but to show you, we'll take our pick here. Show you how the pick works. And you just kind of That's pretty neat. Takes it right off. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat and painless. We just dump these in the bowl because we're going to dump everything off of that. Let's just keep going with this and do one like this. And we'll kind of see the difference here. There we go. Look at that. It's clean and painless. Look at that. It works pretty good. Look at that. Nice and clean. going to do the other side. So, now we're going to do it with this. Let's see if our knife will go across this. It looks like it's raised out. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. Just kind of sawing motion. We're just going right up the caps. Look at that. That's pretty nice. A little quicker than the pick, that's for sure. Is that neat, Quinn? You like that? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. So we got most of it. I think what I'll do instead of trying to mess with it, we'll just take our pick again. Right, we got a little bit up here we'll take off. We don't need to get it all. I'm sure the bees will clean it up, but 
There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now we're going to put this one on the other side. And I think for balance, we're going to put this one leaning in the opposite direction. So they're kind of offsetting each other like this. Hold on, sweet pea. We're going to put our lids on. I don't know if we need a lid or not, but we're putting it on. I don't remember last time we did this. We used a lid or not. It's only the second time we've used this. It's nice. It's small. Now, okay, Quinn, you can start cranking now. Look at all the honey coming out. Let's see what they look like. They look pretty empty to me. Look at that. Maybe just a little bit more. Look at that. Isn't that neat? They're all cleaned out. Came right out. We're going to spin it one more time and then we're going to turn it around. Hold on. We're going to go this direction this time. Now, we're going to take it out and cut the caps off the other side. Look at that. Nice and clean. All right, let's cut these caps off and flip them over. So, same thing. Spin it hard. Here we're going. There we go. You can still see it hitting the sides. Still coming out. See the one on the side we picked. This one you can kind of see wax kind of rubbed across the holes, but the one we picked, you can see right down into those combs. That's really neat. Now we're going to set this over here. Got that one done. It looks really nice. Got everything. All right. You know what? I'm thinking about why, you know, we we're talking earlier about cutting both sides. I don't want to do that. As we're cutting the other we cut this side, we flip it over and start cutting the other side. All the honey's going to be dripping out on the table. We're not going to do that. But I think I really like using this, to be honest with you. I like the outcome. Let's see if we can just do one. See, look at that, how it picks them up. For those of you with the same question as us, getting a hot knife, I just, I've been running hot water over this knife. We're going to try a little experiment here and uh, see what happens now the knife's hot. You know, is it worth getting one, I guess, is the question. It doesn't seem to be cutting any different that I can tell. The honey's coming off the knife easier, 
but I don't feel it cutting any easier to be honest with you. I don't know, maybe when it's hot, you know, see, you don't have to use the sawing motion so much. It's just kind of going right through it, but see, it's gouging it out though. I don't like that. You're kind of gouging the honey out by pushing forward like it. Now, those hot knives might get hotter than this, but just a little experiment we wanted to share with you. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep sawing. I'm gonna keep doing this. I kind of, this seems to be working the best. Just this nice, see that? Just taking it right off. I like that. Skills. Isn't that neat? Yeah. It's the neatest. It's cool, isn't it? There's some more over there. There's some more over there? Okay. Should I get that too? Yes. Okay. Thank you for your help. Okay, this is the last that we're last of our frames that we're extracting today. I only did six, but pulling these out nice and clean, ready to put back in the hive. These will clean it up. They'll be happy. We're happy. Got lots of honey down in there. Look at all that honey. Oh my goodness, look at all that honey coming out. Now it's going through the double strainer. It's gonna, all the little bits of wax are gonna stay up here. When this is done, we're gonna put all our caps in there and just let it set. Um, we know from the last time we did this, there's a lot of honey in those caps. If you got them chopped up good, you just lay them down in this, let it set overnight, and you get a lot of, there's a lot of honey in those caps and they'll be dry. And then we're going to melt those caps down, use those for painting extra wax on any frames we need to use going forward. If we're not going to paint any frames right now, we'll just, we melt it in a crock pot with a strainer, an almond milk straining bag. We pull, let it cool down and uh, we'll pull the stuff out, let it cool and then pop it out and it's ready for whenever we want to melt it and use it. Look at that honey coming out. Isn't that beautiful? It's such a light honey. Look at all of it. A lot of honey, isn't it, Quinn? Look skins again. Yeah. Look, there's one filling up over Makes you want to eat it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. You are silly. It's like look a at all that beautiful look, honey look, coming out. Like yeah, very milk. light honey. Oh, yeah, better taste that, huh? Isn't that beautiful? You got, how'd you get wax up here in your face? Get that beautiful honey coming out. Is that good? Yeah, it tastes good. You guys look like Winnie the Pooh. Who's Winnie the Pooh? You look like Winnie the Pooh getting in Rabbit's honey pot. You don't remember that. We've read it to you. We have to read it to you again. Okay, that's enough, you two. All right, that's enough. Save some, save some for us. Got some fresh homemade bread just hot out of the oven or the bread maker whatever you want to call it and instead of wiping this out look what look what we're doing here these guys you get a couple little pot lickers like these two they're professional pot lickers you give them a slice of bread and a bowl with honey in it and they're gonna clean it for you look at them go very good <laughs> 